Hello, my friends, and welcome to the Parish of St. Anne's. My name is Don Byers, and as many of you know, I serve as a parish priest here. I thought I'd just share a couple of things to consider as we look at our gospel reading for this weekend. Uh, it's a very short reading, but I think quite fitting and has a lot to offer to you and I. Uh, one, a little preface I'd like to give to Luke here. Luke, I have a particular affection for his gospel. And in Luke's gospel, he's very much focused on uh, the injustices in this world and challenging us to be very attentive to those who are marginalized, who are oppressed, who suffer from poverty or lack of the basic necessities of life. But he also has a certain wisdom in his gospel as well, and he taps into the wisdom of Jesus in the sense that our striving for power and gain actually can make us more unhappy. It's funny, oftentimes you hear people who say work in major corporate jobs or who get quite involved in the business world, they will often reflect, or I've heard many stories of this nature, where people will reflect that even though they were working so hard for their careers and they were excelling and climbing up the ladder, they found themselves increasingly getting lonely, that they felt that they were missing something in their life. And this is something that I think Jesus is pointing to in this week's gospel, and that he challenges us not to necessarily always seek the highest position in the world, to not always run to be first, not always to push others aside so that we may have the place of prominence. And he says that, I think, not only because there's a real injustice involved in it, because oftentimes when we're running to the front, we forget everybody else or we bypass others or we think we're more important than others. We place ourselves higher than others. So there's an injustice, but there's another reality to it, and I think this is what Jesus is getting at. Quite frankly, our constant striving to be first, our constant yearning to be at the top of the group can often make us more miserable. We may think that being at the top, we get a place of privilege, or maybe in our jobs, we may become more wealthy, more powerful, but with every step higher, there's a greater burden upon us. And I think this is what Jesus is getting at. If you're always constantly seeking for more, but are never satisfied with the here and now, you're gonna end up being unhappy. Some of you might recall there was that wonderful TV series many years ago called Frasier. It's one of my favorite comedies. And this show illustrated this point in which uh, Frasier and his brother Niles end up getting a special invitation to a very exclusive club. But every time they went to the club, they discovered that there was another level, and so they were always wanting to go to the higher level. Well, eventually, on the last time that they go, they think they're still not at the top level because they see a door, and in their foolishness, they go out that door thinking they're going to go to the highest level, only to find themselves on the street. Now, the writers of that story, of course, being comedic, did actually touch on a certain truth. We can always be left unsatisfied if we're always looking to be in the position of power and pride of place. And if we're always looking for something better, we'll never be happy with the here and now. Not to mention that sometimes in our striving for something better, we forget others. And so Jesus reminds us, rather than trying to be at the place of privilege, Invite others to that place. Invite those who are poor, who are marginalized, who are excluded from the feast. Let them go and sit first. And let us wait ourselves. My friends, join us this Sunday for worship at 10.30. It'll be a delight to see you. Come into this amazing space. Be with this amazing group of people and share with us in our worship here at St. Anne's. My friends, may God bless you, may God keep you, and may God let his face shine upon you always. Take care, and God bless.